So today we're going to be doing the reaction of nickel 2 chloride and sodium hydroxide in solution. So the first thing we're going to do is set up two 50 milliliter glass beakers and we're going to take one molar sodium hydroxide and we're going to put 15 milliliters of it in our first uh, 50 milliliter beaker. Then we're going to take our one molar nickel 2 chloride and we're going to place six milliliters of it in our second 50 milliliter glass beaker. And once we do this, we're going to go ahead and properly label our beakers. And it's really important in the lab that we label our beakers properly because if we mismix our chemicals, then we could end up creating a reaction we didn't intend. Um, so as you can see here, we're properly labeling both of our beakers in order to stay safe in the lab. Uh, now after we do this, we're going to mix our uh, reactants together um, and we're going to see an immediate change in the solution. So we're going to mix our sodium hydroxide, one molar, um, with our nickel two chloride and immediately, as you'll see in just a second, our reaction is going to turn, um, our solution is going to turn clear. Um, so we're going to pour the whole thing in here um, and as you will see, we will get a complete color change. Um, the solution will turn clear um, and as you can see at the bottom of the beaker, we have uh, a, pre a precipitate that formed, um, which is our nickel hydroxide. Um, so that's a green precipitate at the bottom of the beaker. So looking at our balanced chemical equation here, um, we have our reactants, nickel 2 chloride um, and sodium hydroxide um, in solution. And we have one mole of nickel 2 chloride and two moles of sodium hydroxide that are going to react to form our products, um, which are nickel to hydroxide, um, and that is going to be a precipitate, um, so it's in solid form as you can see in the equation. And we also have two moles of sodium chloride. And the sodium chloride is dissolved, so it's aqueous. Um, it's dissolved and in solution in the water. So this reaction is a double displacement reaction. And what a double displacement reaction is, um, is when the cations and anions of two different compounds switch places, forming entirely different compounds. Um, so in this case, the nickel and sodium um, switched places to form our nickel 2 hydroxide and sodium chloride. Um, and so this reaction precipitates a green gelatinous nickel 2 hydroxide. And the spectator ions we're looking at in this reaction are our Cl minus and our Na plus. 